I'm Jeff with Fleet Feet Tucson. Today we are reviewing the Ultra Torin 6. Being newish to the shoe world, Ultra has really taken off in popularity. Founded in 2009 by high school friends Brian Beckstead and Golden Harper, one thing that Ultra is known for is its unique shaped design. Whereas most running shoes have a roundish shape in the toe box, Ultra has designed its shoes to be shaped like your feet, hence their trademarked foot shape design. This shape gives your toes more room to display, creating a wider and more balanced platform. Ultra is also known for all their shoes being zero drop. If you're not familiar with drop in a running shoe, it is just the difference between the heel on the ground and the forefoot on the ground. Most shoes have an elevated heel, meaning the distance between the heel and the ground is larger than the distance between the forefoot and the ground, resulting in more cushioning in the rear than in the front. Ultra Zero Drop Platform means there is a balanced cushion throughout the shoe, and the distance between both the heel and the forefoot and the ground is the same. Ultra has three different foot-shaped fits that are designed for a wide variety of people. There is a slim fit, which is designed for people with narrower feet. Their standard fit, which is most common within the Ultra line. And their original fit, which is the roomiest of the three. All three fits still have their unique foot-shaped toe box and zero drop. The Torin 6 falls within their standard shape, which again, is the most common and right between the slim and original fit. Looking back at the Torin 5, the new version had a lot to improve on. There were a lot of complaints about last year's model, mostly due to the tongue. It was sharp, uncomfortable, and ended up cutting many runners' ankles. Some people ended up either cutting the sharp portion off or wearing longer socks. But that really only masked the problem. Ultra seems to have taken the feedback to heart on the 6 as the tongue is much softer and no longer has that sharpness to it. Another complaint of the 5 was the laces. They were short and it was really difficult to tie them regularly, especially if you needed to do a heel lock or runner's knot. That has changed also, and the updated version sports a longer length so you can adequately get a good tie. Another update is that molded heel cup. This provides for a more locked down and secure fit, especially for those of us with narrower heels. Besides the updated heel cup, the Torin 6's engineered mesh upper is pretty similar to the 5, so you won't notice a lot of change other than the design. The new version still has Ultra's Ego Max midsole, which is plush and cushioned while also being responsive. The Torrent is considered a high cushion neutral shoe with a 28mm stack height. The outsole is the same as the previous version and has Ultra's foot pod shape, which mirrors the bones and tendons in your feet and allows the shoe to bend where your feet bend, thereby helping your feet to move more naturally within the shoe. One thing you want to be aware of, however, is some of the reviews I've read regarding the Torrent 6 stated that the forefoot is a little narrower than previous models. I didn't notice this when I tried on the shoe, but I also have a narrower foot and would not be someone who would feel it anyway. Given those reviews, you'll definitely want to visit your local running store to try it on just to be sure the shoes are going to work for your feet. I've always found Ultra shoes to be incredibly comfortable, and the Torrent 6 is no different. It's a shoe that works for a lot of foot shapes, and the updates have vastly improved the shoe over last year's model. So thank you for checking out our review of the Ultra Torin 6. And if you're in Tucson, stop in and say hi. But before you leave, let me know what you think about the Torin 6 in the comments, and make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. I'll see you next time.